Oh, this is Sitano Plays, Pokemon Blue. Last time we took a trip in this cycling road to see what happens if we took the other way to Fuchsia City. And we ended up there pretty fast. And now we have taken that part, it's time to take care of action here in Saffron City, the biggest city in Pokemon Generation 1. Now we want to go to the gym, there's just a problem. This guy. Get out of the way! Yeah, that's a bit lame. So apparently Team Rocket Guy is, is covering the entrance to this gym where the six badge is waiting for us. So we have to take care of Team Rocket, of course, like we did in Selden City. But before we do that, let's take a trip into this place. Another gym? Uh, almost. Now this place is technically a gym, but it's not the same kind of gym. It's a fighting dojo. Now, they don't have a badge or anything here, like a gym tra gym leader, but they do have a prize in the end, a prize that we actually want to get. But of course, as you can see, there are trainers lined up in front of us that want to fight, so let's give them the fight that they want. Ho! Oh, you're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Yeah, I am, on purpose. So let's fight. New enemy, we have a black belt who wants to fight. Macho. So yeah, of course, this is a fighting dojo. They all use fighting type Pokemon. That's happy time for Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto eats fighting Pokemon alive. More or less. So we take just two wing attacks on Machop and down it goes. So yeah, there's a lot of things we are about to do here in uh, Saffron City. We have to take care of Team Rocket, that's actually going to take at least one, if not two, probably two full parts. Then we have to go to the gym, that's another part. So yeah, we will be spending some time in the next days here in Saffron City. But don't worry though, once Saffron City has been dealt with, we are actually nearing the end of the game. Oh well. I won't say that because there's still a lot of things we have to do. We have to fight Legendaries, we have to get the last two badges. We have to fight the Pokemon League, we have to fight the Champion, and finally, we have to fight Mewtwo. When that's done, we can call it the quits. I don't think it's going to be over for Pokemon and all that. No, no, no. As soon as Generation 1 is done, we will start right away with Generation 2. Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. And Crystal for that matter. Now, people may be wondering, what Pokemon game will I choose for Generation 2? I decided to take Pokemon Gold. Because I own silver on my Game Boy. And uh, I haven't really played much of Crystal, so we will play Pokemon Gold on uh, my. Uh, let's play a Pokemon in Generation 2. Take down the Black Belt. Oof! I give up! A yeah, good choice. We took a beating there actually, because uh, Card Shop does no. Um, Card Shop doesn't do uh, fighting damage, so. If it would have done fighting damage, then Pidgeotto would have taken a little damage from it. But, yeah, Generation 1 logic again. I hear you're good. Show me. I'll show you. You'll see. Another black belt. This guy has a matchup as well. That's a shock. Not many t typical fighting Pokemon in Generation 1 because we only have 150. Mainly Machop and Mankey that are the fighting types. Not the only ones, of course, but they are the more common ones. We quit with Fly, that's great, so we take in one shot and Pidgeotto grows to level 33. We're not actually far away now from evolving Pidgeotto. We have uh, Macho, or so we say Machop on steroids. Yeah, so Pidgeotto will evolve one more time. At, uh, I think it's 36. Now there's a low kick. Still hurts because he has insane amount of attack power. It's just that it's a fighting move. So down he goes. 1000 XP. And we take the black belt. Charge one point! Yeah. And what about you, son? Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training! Okay, calm down, calm down. Let's see what you got. A 
Prime. Oh, level 36. Okay. Well, there as well. That can be a bit problematic because if it's a glad shot that crits, it's gonna hurt. Uh, did I just foretold my own demise? Oh, I did. But we take him on the speed, and down he goes. And we beat the black belt. Yo, stud fingers! Stud fingers, okay. Yeah, I can't really revive Pidgeotto, so if he goes down, I'll just switch him out and revive him for the last battle. Or take your shoes off! How about no? Mr. Black Belt? Let's see what you got. Monkey. I'll use my Pidgeotto on do them. And down it goes. Monkey has low defense, so. That's good for us. Another Monkey. Well, I guess we take a fly again. Thank you, so annoying. He is fast, has pretty high attack power. He's fast, he's faster than Macho for sure, he just has little defense. Oh, another primate. Lair won't affect us when we fly, smartass. And fly. Oh, he survived! Oh, lucky us, he uses. <laughs> <laughs> Next attack when he's almost fainted. Okay, I'll just finish you up. And down Prime Ape goes. And we take down the Black Belt. I give up! Good choice. Now we have only one train left to fight. Grun. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fua! I'll take you on. He's the last black belt after fighting Dojo. Ooh, new type Pokemon, Hitmon Lee. Level 37. Ow. He takes us in the, in the double kick. Okay, so this guy is a bit of a problem. Now he's a fighting type, so we can't really send our Radicate here. But I will send out War Tour. Total has high defense, which is good for their powerful attacks. Rolling kick, oh. This one doesn't really have a lot of special stats. Though. So my serve takes it almost out. Yeah, you can increase your attack, but I think there's a problem though, son. Your Pokemon just fainted. Down it goes. Oh, of course, I crit now and not on the first surf. Not typical. Well, War Turtle goes to 35, even War Turtle is about to evolve soon. That's gonna be cool. Now from Hitmon Lee, we face Hitmon Chan. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good choice. So Hitmon Chan is a bit more bulkier than the Hitmon Lee. But the positive thing about Hitmon Chan is that he has access to elemental punches of all kinds. He can do. He has Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and that's very good. So, if you want to have a Pokemon that can fight against multiple types, Hitmon Chan is actually pretty good. But Hitmon Lee is a stronger. But we take them both down. Ah, beaten! Yeah. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take your emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Oh, you hear that? We get a fighting Pokemon of our own! And who is it? Is it Hitmon Lee we want? Do you want Arcade and Hitmon Lee? Or do you want this one? You want the uh, piston punching Hitmonchan? So which one should we take? Now I did say I will play all the Pokemon games, even the remix, and that means I'll be playing Fire and Leaf Green as well. So whichever Pokemon I don't choose now, I'll choose then. And I will decide what I want to do. I need a fighting Pokemon with raw power to pit in my team, 
So I'll take Hitmon Lee. Hitmonchan is good as well, but I need the real fighting moves, not just the elemental punches. So my punch might be useful in the other game though. But I'll take Hitmon Lee. Send to the PC, that's fine, we'll go and get him. Oh! Stay and train that karate with us! I won't! So yeah, that's the fighting dojo, and what happens? You fight the fight trainers, you beat the last one, you get a fighting Pokemon of your choice, Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan. They're pretty cool Pokemon, and I also like that they have been given love, should we say. You have. Uh, both Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan was given love in uh, later generations. You have uh, Tyrogue, the pre evolutional form of Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan, and you have Hitmon Top. That makes up a pretty cool club. Now though, we have to deposit a Pokemon. I already kind of made my choice on this one, so Butterfree... You are getting a bit behind, so thank you for your service. I will retire you. And Hitman Lee, welcome to the club. <laughs> See that? Oh, 3 stats. He's low defense and low special. Pretty decent speed. Let's double kick and meditate. That that's fine for now. Double kick is a move that hits basically twice. Does okay attack power, but we will get the more stronger kick soon, like rolling kick. And later we will get one of the most devastating fighting moves to existence: high jump kick. Now it has a chance to miss, and if you miss, you take a lot of damage from it. But if it hits, you can pretty much KO anything that has low defense or that is a normal type Pokemon. Or rock or steel, of course. So now we're taking care of the fighting dojo, but we still don't have access to the um, to the gym in Saffron City. We need to take care of Team Rocket. That's what we're gonna do next. You see this big building here, and this is where they made the Silp Scope. It's a Silp Company office building. And see the place is now open. Let's go inside. Just be wary, this place is huge. That's why I said that we probably have to do this place in at least two parts after this one as well. But let's go! Straight on my trainers. Hey kid, what are you doing here? I'm taking care of you guys. You guys are causing trouble for me. Five Pokemon! Golbat. I'll just take up and fly. Your bite doesn't work on me, kid. And my fly doesn't work on me either. Ooh, Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray is basically the same as Supersonic, except that Confuse Ray has a 100% chance to hit. So it doesn't miss like Supersonic can. Oh, this is actually bad. This is a good combination for a Golbat. Because if my Confusion hits myself, I will take more damage. Wow. Oh, I got this second vision hit. I will probably have to myself, kill myself in this one. And the AI, of course, is a bit stupid. He wants to use Supersonic as well as using... Um, <laughs> as well as using Confuse, right? So yeah. The smartest AI. We take down Golbat. Next up is Zubat. Let's just take care of these flying types once and for all, shall we? So Jolteon, you're next. Should have been after with the uh, Golbat as well, but let's just do it this way. I'm just gonna do it take a Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt is overkill. Yeah, it is. Ah, I crit Thunderchuck as well, so that's a guaranteed one shot. Next, we fight another Zubat. Is this guy only with Zubat and Golbats? Is he like a vampire lover? Maybe he's like a Twilight lover or something? In Thunder Shock, that one should KO the Zubat. Oh, he does have something else. He has Eradicate. Now let's see what Hitman Lee can do for us. Because Eradicate is a normal type. Let's see Double Kick in action. Oh yeah, this is what we're talking about. Hitman Lee does the job for us. And last is a Zubat, so we have to change again, because Zubat is a flying type. That's not good for Hitmonlee. So 
a Jolteon. Come and zap this stupid bat away from us so we can continue on the self company. And the shock. Super effective. And level 33 for Jolteon. And we beat Team Rocket. I goofed. You did. Ooh, another type of trainer. Hmm, why you? It's off limits here. Go home. How about now? Ooh, new trainer. The scientist wants to fight. The scientists are evil as well, should we say? Oh, this is a bad matchup. I have to switch out. Let's go with Sandslash. So, the scientists also are part of Team Rocket's scheme here at the Sylph Company. Now, the scientists use a lot of um, Pokemon with electric attacks. No, not to scare us much though, but... We just need to be forewarned. They use a lot of electric Pokemon. Take down the Zubat. I mean the Magnemite, sorry. Did you use that freaking Zubat team? Voltorb. Let's see if Slash is still critting. Probably is. Yeah. Shock. And now we face the Magneton. It will form a Magnemite. And what is it? Yeah, it's just three Magnemites clamped together. That's Magneton for you. People cry and whine about that Pokemon in later generations look kind of lame. Well, you see Voltorb and Magnemite, Magneton, they are lame as well. Voltorb is a freaking Pokeball. And Magnum, Magneton, the Wolf from Magnemite, is three Magnemites punched together. Yet people complain about uh, how Pokemon look. I don't think they have uh, the right to do so. Oh, we're back here again. I guess we took a short trip around. Let's fight this train as well. No kids are allowed in here. You don't tell me what to do. Mr. Rocket. He has a Cubone. Aw, poor Cubone. I still have... I feel sadness for this Cubone. Or this the other Cubone. In the Pokemon Tower that lost his mother. But this one is controlled by evil beings. We have to take it down. This one is a ground type and his Bone Club won't really matter for us. The air doesn't understand this in Generation 1. I don't understand later generations though, the AI is much smarter than and understands that you won't try to use moves that are basically ineffective against you. Not a Zubat. You know what to do. Jolteon, you're next. You shock this Zubat, please? Oh yeah, I don't think he likes that. And he goes down. Saying that's on the bolt for the big guys, of course. The rocket. Tough. Sometimes you can take all trainers, something you don't need to do. I can probably skip a few of them, but I take the trainers because it's good so that we can progress in the game. Now we see here, you need to have a card key to access these panel doors. These doors contain trainers, they also contain some cool items. So that's an important thing to go. We go over here again. This time we're just gonna go into this one. Oh, who's this guy? I wonder if Sylph is finished. Okay, so this guy is actually an employee of Sylph Company, but we can't do anything here because this place is shut. Okay, so last time we went to the left. Let's go to the right. Can we sleep here? Huh. Beds here, I guess this must be the resting room or something. There's nothing new here, let's just go up instead. Now skip this trainer. I'll go upstairs. We can go down here maybe. Let's fight the scientist. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. 
What about your weak points, Mr. Scientist? What if I nail them for, for you? Didn't think about that, did you? A Voltorb. And of course I have Pidgeotto, I had to switch out. Because that doesn't go well with me. Even though a Voltorb really have any electric attacks this early, I can't really damage him, so that's one of the things. And of course his uh, Sonic Boom doesn't really scare me. Sonic Boom does static damage, so that's fine. Take my way. Take him out. On Pidgeot, does 35! Oh, that's a good thing, at least. Next up is Coughing. So yeah, he also uses Poison types. Poison type, Electric types. Oh, let's just give him a little slash. Because we are Sand Slash. We always crit. I don't know if there must be a bug or something. I tried to read it up, and apparently. Some people say it's bugged, some people say it's not. I don't know. Hopefully it won't be bugging when I play Generation 2 next. And Magneton goes down. A lot of XP, and we defeat the scientist. You hammered me! I did. Exploding weak points does work. Think about element types. And that's what I've been doing since the beginning. That's why I'm doing all Pokemon games. It's all about taking out the weak point. Go up here, actually. Need a card key here. But there may be something up here. What's this? Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolved only when traded by Link Cable. It's a Pokemon report. 160 techniques have been confirmed. Mm. Ah, I think that's the thing that we need. Pokemon Report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. What? There shouldn't be any children here. And who are you to decide that? Ah, Juggler. We haven't seen the Juggler since we fought Koga in uh, Fuchsia City. Yes, Kadabra. Yeah, Kadabra is a physical weak Pokemon, so let's just pound him with a powerful double edge. Goes and now we're gonna face Mr. Mime. That's a new one. Mr. Mime is also a psychic type. Looks very funny. It's a mimic type of Pokemon. Now, unlike Kadabra and those, he actually has a higher defense, but he still goes down. A bit lower special. He's also he's not he's a bit slower as well. But he does his job. He take the juggler. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, I beat you. Are you happy about that, Mr. Juggler? I have to switch out my Pokemon now. Uh, I'm not gonna really bother with my Raticate. I think... I don't know if it's a good choice to take Hitmonlee, because if I fight... It's gonna be I'm fighting Rocket down there. I think I'll just take another one. Let's take the War Turtle. I need to evolve him. And it's going to rock. Let's give this guy... Can't get to him. Just gonna go up and down so you can go down. I heard a kid was wandering around. Who? Where's the kid? Let's fight him. Oh, you wanna fight instead? He's a one type Pokemon, he's an Arbok. Level 33. Oh. We'll take you on. Here, take a bath. It nice and shiny. He doesn't like that, even though he's just a poison type. He's not ground. Oh, he crits with his bite. Let me guess, I'll probably crit with Surf now because you always crit. I always crit with things when I don't really need to. Yeah, apparently not. Take the Arbok down, and we beat the rocket. Boom! It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket. I disagree. I think it's cool because you guys give me a lot of XP. Yes, we found the card key. Now we can explore in this place because we can open up all the different things here. Let's just open up the very thing right here. Bingo. 
The car key opened the door. Yeah. Team 09. What is Team 09? Is it what I think it is? Take down. Yeah. Actually, can I use that on Hitmonlee? I can. Let's give it to Hitmonlee. Does he lack like moves? Take down is the same as Double Edge. It does damage and you take damage back in return. But I think Double Edge has more attack power than Take Down, but Take Down still does its work. So now we got the card key. I'm going to stop here because this place is very big and we probably need more time to explore. Now that we have the card key, we can explore all of this place and we will find out what we can get on the top. Hopefully Team Rocket will be gone so we can go to Saffron City, challenge the gym and get our six badge so we can move on with our journey to go to the Pokemon League. So if you have any feedback on my Let's Play, or if you want to discuss this game, Pokemon Blue, then uh, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please do so. You'll make me very happy. With that, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.